welcome to the next lecture uh, we will continue our discussion on the decoding of uh, linear block codes so let me first describe wh what we want to do see we have transmitted okay let me tell end to end story okay so that whatever we have covered till now it gets reflected so there may be an analog signal okay there may be an analog signal suppose m of t you first do a sampling then you do quantization then you do pcm after that you use it to do line coding and modulation but here after pcm immediately we have this channel coding right it is at this point that we are adding uh, these extra bits so as to we can uh, you know recover the errors and now after channel coding there will be modulation so if you were suppose message bits were this and your channel code was uh, 010 so this should be 0101 suppose this is the message a channel code so we will not so earlier we used to modulate directly zero we used to represent by minus root e level one by root e level and then use bpsk now we will modulate this channel code and transmit to our channel and uh, noise may change one of the bits that is the error and we want to correct the error okay so after modulator so there is will be a channel and then at the receiver the first thing we will have to do is demodulate and after demodulation what will you get you will get bits right but that may have error so you will use channel decoding after channel decoding now you will use the digital to analog converter if you want to convert it back into the message okay so this is uh, the overall picture so we had so we started with sampling and you know then we are here we we are now here channel coding modulation we have done now we have transmitted a code word suppose c over a channel and we are here taking binary channel binary symmetric channel That is, see, it is. It depends upon various, which point we are considering. So we are considering this as the input point, and this whole modulator channel and demodulator, this now becomes our channel. So we, when we take this as the input point and this as the output point, then the waveforms don't enter into the picture. We are dealing with binary numbers, okay. Anyway, so we have transmitted this now at receiver. We will receive R, okay, which uh, is the received vector. Now, their uh, received vector is basically it is a version of C. So there may be there there definitely will be some errors okay and our job is to from r we have to reduce what code was transmitted okay and indirectly what message was transmitted so definitely r is uh, an n uh, length vector so r can take 2 to the power n possible values right it can take any of these values 2 to the power n possible values but uh, for us there are only 2 to the power k codes with meaningful codes right because we had 2 to the power k messages and each message is assigned a code word so there are 2 to the power uh, k uh, messages and, and hence codes so what is the task of receiver or channel decoder here receiver means channel decoder okay the task of receiver is to partition 
this two to the power n possible uh, received vectors into two to the power k disjoint subsets okay suppose d1 d2 and d2 to the power k subsets such that the ith subset di corresponds to corresponds to ith code ci for i less than or equal to 1 1 less than or equal to this 2k so so what is the task c suppose this is the r and there are several possible no r's depending upon the length let's take example that k is equal to 4 and n is equal to 7 so you have 2 to the power 4 which is 64 codes but receive at receiver you have 2 to the power 7 so 128 2 to the power 7 128 possible uh, values of received vector are there now what is 128 divided by 64 so it is 2 trivial mistake 2 to the power 4 is 16 sorry so it is 16 codes and the possible values of received vector are 2 to the power 7 so what is 128 by 16 so this is 8 okay so we will basically uh, do one thing so we will have a uh, 16 different sets okay and each set will contain eight different binary sequences right so here will be this d1 here will be d2 and here will be d16 okay and in each of this there will be eight different possible you know codes these will these will necessarily not be codes you know they they will be any any uh, you know seven bit uh, binary uh, sequences one of them will be code definitely now you receive a vector r you will see to which uh, you know set it belongs to okay so suppose r belongs to d2 then you will declare that the code which was transmitted is actually c2 okay uh, so to make it more clear how to uh, you know do this actually we will construct this table that will make the picture more clear see first of all you will place all the possible code words you know in one row first one you will write all zero code word okay and then next code word c2 c3 ci and c2 to the power k because there are two to the power k possible code words code words okay then here you will place the possible errors okay so hold on with the general discussion it will become very clear i will take example after this so these are the possible errors now what you do next is go on adding uh, this error to the code word so here is c2 plus e2 then there is the error e3 c2 plus e3 then there is error ej c2 plus ej then there is error pattern e to the power n minus k so c2 plus error similarly for next code word add the error to 
add each of these error patterns to the code board okay so what is the set now it is very it will be very clear now so these are the possible sets okay so c2 and c2 and c2 added with all the possible error patterns this forms d1 similarly c3 and all the possible error patterns this forms d2 similarly ci and all the possible error patterns this forms di and similarly this now if r you have to check now you when you receive any received vector you will see to which set it belongs to and declare that suppose if r is equal to c3 if you can find r is equal to c3 plus e3 okay so it means that e3 error pattern was responsible correct now then depending upon how this error pattern is you can easily receiver can easily uh, detect at which bit there is an error and correct the error also so as i told that you hold on because uh, it will be more clear uh, you know how to do it when i will take the example i will just write here general steps then we will see the example so the general steps for decoding decoding of linear block code first of all for received vector r find syndrome what is syndrome s is equal to r s transpose okay h will be given to you then the second step is okay now some terminologies i have already told you but let me tell again see this column this column wherein you have a particular error pattern e2 and then you get other error patterns which have the same syndrome by adding code word c2 c3 to the same error pattern you already i already told you in the previous lecture that if you have any error pattern and its syndrome is suppose e as transpose <coughs> sorry if you add any code word to the error pattern its syndrome will remain same because it becomes e as transpose plus c as transpose c as transpose is zero so it becomes e as transpose so uh, so here is a, here are the error patterns for which all of them so first is e2 then you add code word to this then you add c2 to this so this is called co set okay co set of the code this is one co set this is other co set and the first basic error pattern okay this is called co set leader co set leader is chosen such that its hamming weight is minimum of all error patterns this is the rule hamming weight is minimum i will tell you later on why it is so Go set leader is chosen such that it is having uh, weight is minimal. Okay, I again repeat, things will be more clear when I will take the example. Now, the second step is within the co set within the co set characterization. Let me write so within the co set characterization by syndrome, identify the co set leader. Okay, co set leader will be the basic error pattern. We will see it later on. What it means with the example. Third is that compute compute the code vector. See, you know that R is now C plus error pattern. So C is R plus error pattern. Simple. Just add now error pattern to R. This will be the uh, this will be the decoded version of the. Uh, received vector so this is the decoding process okay now let's take example example we will take from again hamming code okay you, which i told in the previous lecture first of all you should be very comfortable with converting generator matrix into parity see if if g is given to you 110 0 11 111 okay then one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero 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 one this is the 
generator matrix for this particular code right now what will be parity check matrix that is i of n minus k p transpose see here n is equal to 7 k is equal to 4 n minus k is equal to 3 so you will first have a 3 cross 3 identity matrix part then you will take a transpose of this p here right p transpose so you will get 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 right so this is your parity check matrix okay and uh, you will observe that it is an example given in the book also you can see if you see except all zero code word all zero code word is obvious its hamming weight is zero you will see any other suppose the one of the code word says 0001 zero, 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 is a message its code word is 1010001 zero, one, zero, 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 one. it has hamming weight 3 similarly there is a message triple uh, 4 times 1 its code word is this its hamming weight is 7 there is some code whose hamming weight is 4 there is some code whose hamming weight is uh, you know uh, i think only 3 4 the minimum hamming weight in this code is 3 d minimum so how many bits it can correct you know that uh, so let me write that you had done last time d minimum is 2t plus 1 so t is d minimum minus 1 divided by 2 which is 3 minus 1 by 2 which is 1 so this hamming code has capability of correcting only one bit error okay now we will do one thing we will assume that suppose you transmitted a message whose code word is one 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 zero zero one zero so it means message was zero zero one zero which is encoded into triple one zero zero one zero and it is transmitted over the channel what receiver receives is one one zero 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 one zero okay now you know right now that there is an error definitely and you know also error is at this position but receiver just knows this much and knows the code structure so what will be the first step receiver has to do? compute syndrome okay and syndrome will be computed with the help of parity check matrix which we have already uh, you know shown you so here is a parity check matrix so syndrome is computed by comp taking uh, this r so this is your r okay this is your r and this is this was the code word so r h transpose which will be equal to 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 h transpose will be 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 one 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 zero one okay this is the h transpose and now you after compute very simple algebra you will get zero zero one so this is the syndrome okay now see what actually how we, how will we now form that coset we don't have to do that much for this case it will be very simple actually what we got is t is equal to 1 this code has one bit error correcting capability and we are assuming that only one bit errors occur for one bit errors what are the possible error patterns they are very simple to uh, you know tell. so first of all if there is no error definitely this is the error pattern obviously right its syndrome is also obvious 0 0 0 so this is the syndrome and this is the error pattern okay now there is a possibility that first bit is an error so this will be the error pattern it means when this error pattern gets added to code word first bit becomes an, comes an error and its syndrome will be computed separately so you can always use syndrome can be computed e h transpose right very simple then 
the other possibility is this second bit is an error third bit is an error fourth bit is an error fifth bit is an error sixth bit is an error or seventh bit is an error these are the only possible error patterns basic error patterns and we compute its syndrome accordingly so 0 1 0 1 0 then 0 0 1 so this is this 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 then after that 1 1 0 then 0 1 1 then 1 1 1 and 1 0 1 so far so good now what does decoding mean decoding means what is the syndrome you got for the received vector 0 0 1 so you check here which error pattern has syndrome 0 0 1 this one right hence this error pattern has occurred okay in fact if you see what that table means so this is the code word right so if you add this code word if you add to this code word the error pattern c plus e right so that is actually r now what is the c then right so r plus e simple so our r is r is uh, 1 uh, 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 and e is the error pattern 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 add them up you get one 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 zero zero one zero so you got back the code word. so we have detected the error as well as we have corrected the error for this particular case okay very simple so this much for a linear block codes now we will see one more way to represent a special class of linear block codes they are called cyclic codes and they are actually the ones which are used practically and every cyclic code is a linear code but every linear code may not be a cyclic code okay so basically uh, i will tell you briefly here what it means then i will uh, upload one more video suppose you have a code word c naught c1 up to cn minus one Till now we have learned one thing that if you C1 is a code word and C2 is a code word then their linear sum is also a code word, right? But what about cyclic operation? So if I cyclic operation means if I shift this cyclically I write CN minus 1 C0 CN minus 2 then I shift again cyclically I get CN minus 2 CN minus 1 C0 CN minus 3 I shift again cyclically, I get Cn minus 3, Cn minus 2, Cn minus 4. Question is, are all these cyclically shifted versions of the original code also code words? If they are also code words, then that code is called cyclic code. Okay. And the property of cyclic codes are best demonstrated by using a concept of polynomials, code polynomials. And that makes it analysis very easy and we easily get the hardware realization also that we will see in the next lecture.